Hello, my name is Joe Zamataro. I'm a certified professional yacht broker with Denison Yacht Sales. My office is located in the beautiful Harborage Marina in sunny St. Pete, Florida. Today, we're going to explore a 2007 Hunter 36. I sold this boat brand new in 2008 to its current owner, and this boat has only been lightly used and has been professionally maintained since day one. One of the very special features about the Hunter 36 is the B&R rig. What this means is the mass has moved further forward than most conventional rigs, giving you a smaller jib and a bigger main. The power in this sail plan comes from the mainsail. The jib is almost self-tacking. It means that handling this boat single-handed is a much easier arrangement than most conventional sail plans. With the end boom sheeting you'll notice on this boat, you have much lever greater leverage to pull the sail in. When you have mid-boom sheeting like most conventional rigs, it takes a lot more power and oftentimes a winch to pull that sail in. When you want to reef this boat, all you do is furl in the main. Part of this unique sail plan is the fact that this has a traveler arch. It's made out of two inch stainless steel. It features a traveler and it becomes a really great attachment point for your Dodger and Bimini. You'll notice that this has two speakers located underneath the traveler arch and this is also a great place to attach your safety harness when you're in rough conditions. As you move further aft you'll notice that we have stern rail seats which will probably become one of the more popular places for you to sit and this boat features Cato davits. It also has a nine foot inflatable dinghy and a four horsepower outboard. With the sugar scoop getting in and out of the dinghy and in and out of the water is also very easy and you'll notice this boat has virtually no teak. So basically it's just going to be a bucket of suds, a brush and a hose to keep it clean. The cockpit of the Hunter 36 is exceptionally well arranged. It's very easy for the helmsman to reach the jib sheet winches which are in either side of the helm. You also have access to controlling the mainsail on the traveler arch you'll see on the port side as it's coming down. That control right there is for your mainsail. You have your C120 color chart plotter. Also on the binnacle is your wind speed and wind direction as well as your controls for your Auto Helm 4000. You also notice that the wheel can be collapsed which makes getting in and around the cockpit much more easy when you're at port. Again, the aft helm seats probably going to be one of the more popular places to sit. You also have in the cockpit, on the cockpit uh, in the cabin top, are two winches for your in-haul and out-haul for your in-mass furling. And then above the companion way you'll notice that there's a knot meter log and depth sounder. One last feature about the traveler arch is when you look underneath you'll see that there's a speaker port and starboard for your stereo system and a very convenient light. You'll notice that the cockpit table is very large and has four cup holders so dining in the cockpit is going to be very very convenient and comfortable. The Dodger is made by Lippincott, one of the finest builders of canvas in the business and one of the nice features is the exterior handles made out of stainless steel so getting in and out of the cockpit is very easy. One of the first things you'll notice when you step below on the Hunter 36 is how open, airy, and spacious the interior is. It feels much bigger than just a 36-foot boat. Part of this is due to the fact that there's numerous fixed ports both in the cabin top and in cabin sides, as well as two fixed ports in the hull. Let's in a lot of light, gives you great visibility, so you feel like you're more on the water than in the water like you would feel in some other sailboats. Accommodations on the Hunter 36 are exceptional. We have a large V-berth forward with a hatch over. You have a port and starboard locker. You also have an opening louver door in the bulkhead which gives you great ventilation when you're at anchor. The door is closed, you have guests forward, yet air can flow from the forward hatch through the rest of the boat through those louvers giving people forward privacy giving the rest of the people in the boat ventilation. As you move into the main salon, the U-shaped settee can drop down and form another berth. There is an optional cushion that came with this boat. You have a beautiful settee on the port side and a whale laid out chart table. You have separate panels for the 110 and 12 volt. You have stereo. VHF. There's also another VHF handheld located out in the cockpit. And this boat also have tank indicators for your water 
and holding tanks. Now one of the nicest features about this boat is a sumptuous galley. You have large Corian counters, deep double sink. This boat has a virtually new stove, I don't know if it's ever been used, microwave, you have storage underneath, storage underneath the sink, and a refrigerator freezer. One of the unique features on this boat is the dish locker. This dish locker is not only just for storing your dishes, but when you open it, when you wash your dishes, you put them in there to rinse, and you'll notice once they're rinsed, there is actually a fan located in the forward end of this locker for ventilation and helping you to dry your dishes. So it's a very unique, multifunctional utilization of space on this boat. Then you also notice you have a tremendous amount of drawer space on this boat. Moving aft into the owner's stateroom, you have a queen size berth with a nice shelf aft. You'll also notice that there is a hatch into the cockpit for ventilation, a fixed port, an opening port, and a large locker. From the owner's stateroom to the head is just a little step and you have a separate sink and a separate stall shower combination head where we're storing the cushions at the moment and then all the way aft is a wet locker. The engine compartment is located underneath the steps and one of the special features on this boat are all the through hull fittings are located in one position right by the companionway. So when you leave the boat just throw all your lock, uh, sea files closed. When you get on the boat you open them all and it's a very well laid out and well thought out arrangement. If you'd like additional information about Shadow Merchant, I recommend you go to my website, joezam.com, look under Featured Boats, click on the Hunter 36, where I have additional pictures and the complete listing on this boat. Or you could also call me at 727-527-2800. Again, this is Joe Zamataro with Denison Yacht Sales. Thanks for taking a look with me. Bye.